Tonight, police say an armed man is at large in Union County. We have the latest next. And Oakland Avenue in Carbondale will close Wednesday morning due to road construction. And Perry County sergeants help to deliver a baby. We have those stories and more tonight on a Tuesday night edition of News 24 at 10. And good evening. Thanks for joining us. It is Tuesday, September 25th, 2018. We have a lot of news to get to this evening, but we begin in Anna, where the Union County Sheriff's Office, the Anna Police Department, the Cobden Police Department, the Illinois Conservation Police, and the Illinois State Police are searching for a man they believed is armed with a pistol and a long gun. Just after 4 p.m., the departments responded to a call of an armed suicidal subject inside a home on Old Saratoga Road in Union County. The man, who has been identified as Josh Baker, 34, of Anna, left the home and authorities have not been able to find him. If you spot Baker, do not approach him. Call your local police department or the Union County Sheriff's Department immediately. In Carbondale this evening, if you drive on South Oakland Avenue to get to work, you may want to find an alternate route tomorrow morning. According to Amy Fox, the Carbondale Public Relations Officer, the 300 block of South Oakland Avenue will be closed due to an emergency sewer repair. The closure will remain in effect until the work is completed. To the weather where drier conditions are on the way, here's News 24's Terry Rodriguez in with the latest. Turn that down a little bit, please. Hey. What? Turn that down a little bit. Well, huh? Your belly. Come here, Bella. Turn I'm it sure, down. start learning to be more quieter in the studio, I swear. Tell people. Tell us what you're All right, thanks, Terry. Turning to Marion this evening, where hundreds of veterans and volunteers gathered at Cornerstone Church for the annual Stand Down for Veterans event today. Brian Beck served in the U.S. Army for 18 years. While on base, Beck was in a car accident and suffered a traumatic brain injury that left him in a coma for two months. He was medically discharged and since then has struggled to find a job. He receives a pension but says it's hard to make ends meet so he stands in this line looking for help. Freed Up Broadway volunteers at the event handing out bags of food for the past decade. Broadway says her first time volunteering 10 years ago made such an impact she'll be back every year until she's no longer able to. Homeless and at-risk veterans didn't just receive hygiene kits, bed linen, socks, shoes, and sleeping bags, but volunteers also loaded their cars full of groceries. Organizer Richard Coolidge says it's humbling to give back to such selfless individuals. Brian Beck left smiling, not just because his hands were full of items to take back to his apartment, but because he felt appreciated. Marion VA officials say there are volunteer opportunities all year long to help veterans if you just call the VA hospital. Frida Broadway also says there are ways to make a difference in the lives of veterans through any American Legion by either donating money or time. Turning this evening to Murfreesboro, where Illinois State Treasurer Michael Fritches stopped in Murfreesboro to introduce a new program called Money Match. 
Money Match is an easier way to return lost or unclaimed money to Illinois residents. This week, the Treasurer's Office will send out letters letting those who have money owed to them know that a check will be in the mail soon. In Jackson County, $37,769 will be going out to 250 people. In Williamson County, $41,887 will go out to 189 people. Richards says this is not a scam and you'll know that because their office won't ask for any information. They'll just send a letter with a follow-up check. Turning this evening to uh, Saline County where when voters elected Judge James Moore to the 5th District Appellate Court in 2016, it left a void in the 1st Judicial Circuit encompassing many Southern Illinois counties. The Illinois Supreme Court appointed Carrie Gill to the to the at-large seat in February the following year. Before that, she practiced law for 16 years as a private attorney. She said one of her primary concerns is how expensive court can be. Slane County Assistant State's Attorney Jason Olson has experience on both sides of the trial, serving as a prosecutor for 10 years and as a public defender for 11 years. Olson served in the Navy and Hay said a specialty court for veterans is one of his prop, top priorities, rather, along with a special court for drug offenders. Gill supports a drug court and said she's worked to keep costs of that court down. Olson scores relatively high in seven of the eight categories rated by lawyers in the Illinois State Bar Association. Gill has the edge in overall health, but Olson scored nearly 20 points better in overall qualifications for office, legal ability, and court management. Both scored high enough for recommendations. For much more coverage on Vote 2018, you can visit our website at www.news24si.com slash vote2018. Much more local news, sports, and weather is coming up next, but first, here's your Fox News update. In Fox News. Will she be there? I'm Lisa Lacerra, Fox News. It's not clear where the pristine Blasey Ford, the woman accusing Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh of sexual misconduct, will attend a public hearing set for later this week. Ford's legal team, the reason why they may not show up on Thursday, they're saying they do not think she will get a, quote, fair and respectful treatment because of Republican Mitch McConnell saying in a speech yesterday that her allegation is part of a, quote, unquote, smear campaign. Democrat Chuck Schumer today demanded McConnell apologize for, in Schumer's words, politicizing the Supreme Court nomination process, something that others believe has already been politicized. Fox is at Henry. The Judiciary Committee has said a conversation vote for Kavanaugh for this Friday. This morning, President Trump dismissed the allegations against Kavanaugh. It's horrible what the Democrats have done. It's a con game to play. They're con, they're really con artists. They're, they're trying to convince, and you know, they don't believe, they don't believe it themselves, okay? They know he's a high quality person. The president with the comments on the sidelines of the UN General Assembly. The first night behind bars for Bill Cosby after he was sentenced this afternoon to three to ten years for the sexual assault of Andrea Constant in 2004. He comments after Bill Cosby's sentencing, he says this entertainer was revealed. He used his acting skills and had an endearing uh, TV personality to win over his victims and then keep them silent about what he did to them. So now finally, Bill Cosby has been unmasked. Cosby's accuser, Andrea Constant, stood with the district attorney during his comments. Steele says he expects this case to be appealed to Superior Court. Fox's Colonel Scott in Norristown, Pennsylvania. San Francisco officials have shut down the city's $2.2 billion transit terminal after discovering a crack in a support beam under a public roof garden. Fox News, fair and balanced. Stop. I'm seeing your Olympic champion, Archer. It's a lover of the outdoors. Dislocated vertebrae and bench nerves in her spine. That chair and feeling trapped. And in seek of help. Thanks to the precision and accuracy of the SIH Brain and Spine Institute, she's back on target. And once again, free. Only. SIH.
comes to health care, Southern Illinois GI specialist in Carbondale is committed to make screening colonoscopy affordable to all, especially for patients with high deductibles and no insurance. One flat affordable fee covers all costs, including pathology services. Board certified gastroenterologist Dr. Zahor Magdoum, specializing in all GI procedures. Cost effective outpatient procedures performed with the highest quality. Southern Illinois GI specialist in Carbondale. Buy local. For your next metal project, barn, home roofing, or repairs, ask your lumber yard or home building center for metal products made here in Southern Illinois from Heartland Metal Sales. Heartland Metal Sales will beat or beat any competitor's written quote. Best quality, lowest prices, local pride. Help support the local economy and buy metal manufactured in the Heartland. For all your post frame metal, home roofing, or repair projects, ask for your Heartland leader at your local lumber yard and building centers. Heartland Metal Sales.
All right, thanks Terry. To continuing coverage in Perry County, Sergeants Scott Kellerman and William Reagan have nearly 30 combined years at the Perry County Sheriff's Office and children of their own. They were never trained or expected to deliver a baby while on the job, but that's exactly what happened Monday afternoon. Sergeant Reagan was in the radio room when the mother's sister called 911. The ambulance was too far away, so Reagan was sent out to respond. When Reagan arrived to the mother's home, she was lying on the living room couch. Reagan says he then realized the mother was too far in labor and there was not enough time to get her up to the hospital. Kellerman showed up minutes later doing what he could to keep her comfortable. Not knowing what to do next, Kellerman and Reagan called the oncoming ambulance to ask for advice. Although the sergeants helped, they don't consider themselves the heroes. Nerve-wracking, but Reagan and Kellerman say one of the most rewarding experiences of their lives. The names of the mom and her baby have not been released at this time, but officials say they are doing well and currently resting at the Carbondale Hospital. Turning to Washington, D.C. this evening, where Arby's likes to boast in its, TV's commer in its TV commercials that it has the meats, well, Arby's owner is about to get beefier. It's buying hamburger joint Sonic for $2.3 billion. Inspire Brands, a private equity-backed firm that owns Arby's and Buffalo Wild Wings, is paying it nearly 20% more for Sonic than what shares were trading at on Monday. Sonic is famous for its quirky ads and retro 1950s drive-in locations. The company also recently joined the wacky fast food trend of launching odd new menu items which it, with its pickle juice slushies. But the company has been hit by tough competition from the likes of McDonald's, Burger King, and Wendy's. Sonic's sales at locations open at a open at least a year have been declining for the past few quarters. Inspire, which owns Rusty Taco, said that nothing major will change at Sonic though. The chain, which has more than 3,600 locations, will be operated as an independent brand. The deal is the latest in what's been a rapidly changing landscape for the fast food and casual restaurants. Struggling chains have decided to sell out or merge to become more competitive. Much more local news, sports, and weather is coming up next. You're listening to News 24 at 10. Williamson County Sheriff's Office is holding a handgun safety class for residents of Williamson County and it's free of charge. This handgun safety class will be held on Saturday, October 6th from 8 a.m. until 4 p.m. It will consist of three hours of classroom discussion at the Sheriff's Office plus four hours of range activity at the Williamson County Firearm Training Facility. The handgun safety class will focus on basic safety for handgun owners and their families proper cleaning and storage of handguns, and Illinois laws concerning possession of firearms. This class does not meet the criteria for training requirements under the new Illinois concealed carry law. The class size will be limited to 12 people, so if you are interested, act soon. For more information, contact Deputy John Fleming Monday through Thursday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. at 618-889-2298 to apply for the class contract uh, Jennifer Pritchard at 997-6541, extension 1302. 
participants in the class will be allowed to bring their handgun to the class and will be allowed to fire their handgun at the range. Anyone bringing a handgun to the class must be at least 21 years of age and possess a valid FOID card. Much more news, sports from others next. We'll be right back. My name is Dr. David DeRoso. I'm a board certified general pediatrician practicing in this area for the last 23 years. I take my responsibility in the care of their children very seriously. It is truly a privilege and an honor for families to welcome me into their home to help raise and nurture their children and provide general pediatric care for many more years to come. Visit us at CR. 